Hi everybody, Andrew Rice here. Today I wanted to start my series on spinning the wedges. And we're pretty much going to look at all the factors that are involved in helping to generate maximum spin around the green. Now, I do want to start by saying this. Our objective should not ever be maximum spin. We're going to strive for maximum control because if we can control that golf ball, we can get it to finish closer to the flag. But it is nice to understand all the variables involved in generating and creating maximum spin. So we've got five factors that we're going to look at. First and foremost, and I call this the kingpin of spin, and that is friction. So I'm going to do a little segment on each of these five, starting with friction. Number two, we're going to look at spin loft, which is a track man term. And where do we want our spin loft to be? Essentially, how much do we want to compress the golf ball in order to generate maximum spin? Some of the answers might surprise you. The third factor we're going to look at is what I call smash factor, which is essentially a measurement of how fast the ball leaves the club head, dependent on the speed that the club head is moving at. The fourth factor is going to be impact location, where we hit the ball on the face, because that is going to either elevate or decrease the spin rate. And the fifth factor is club speed. Certainly, I would say the least important, simply because we can only swing so fast when we want the ball to go a set distance. So really looking forward to it. I hope you find this helpful. We're going to start out with friction. Let's take a look.